Hove, about the money. Hove really was trying to get me to see beyond where I was. Then I thank you for this format because I know it will get to him. Mm -hmm. Damn, damn sure better. Yeah. There's so <laughs> many things that he did not have to tell me. What was the name of this? Oof. You feel yeah, me? Like, chance, when, like when a nigga, when a nigga cares about you, they're gonna tell you shit that you want to hear even when you don't. So I, I would like to to elaborate on that. Go ahead, what you're saying, No, I'm saying, so you're saying that Jay was putting you on the game, like, like as far as... No, he was concerned about me as a person. In recent times? Not so much in recent, but... It, was this after you and the Gotti breakup, or this was in between you and the Gotti's misunderstanding? It was after, and it was during. That's, that's and terrible. I don't know if Irv had a talk with him to tell him to talk. Like, I remember I did nothing move but the money, right? I did the song. It's in my notes. Right, I did the song with Puff, and I remember Hove came to Bad Boy that day. And we played it back, and he was like, he said, um, you know you got something, right? And I was just like, I don't know, I just know I feel good about the song. He's like, no, you know you have something. Is that still your biggest record to this day? Hell in no. terms of airplay, in terms of spins, BDS. I'm so high, you're so high, nigga. I did the whole, that's your Wait, biggest record. That's your biggest record. That is no. a great record. No. That is a great record. Do that. I'm right here. I'm sitting next to you. <laughs> Boom. <And> he's cute. Nigga. <laughs> 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 that was a cute shit. What would it have been? What would it have been? Right. Uh, shit, we didn't even get to that part. Nigga, this is before the money, nigga. Well, check, check. Right. What I'm right. gonna say is this. When it came to that, when it came to, um, he was, like, Hove, the money. Hove really was trying to get me to see beyond where I was. Okay. Like, here's a real story. I remember, remember when All-Star Weekend was in New York? Mm. The first All-Star Weekend. Everybody got robbed. Everybody got robbed. Yeah, it's very true. Except us. Oh, certain course, no New York I, niggas, but certain everybody out Certain down. umbrella. If you was yeah, on a yeah, certain yeah. umbrella, it was, you fifth. ain't have to worry about it. Uh -huh. Yes, sir. Good so day. fucking, um, I remember it was me, Dame, Latifah, shout out Queen Latifah, and um, it was all of us. Tata. Mm. Shout out my nigga Tata. I love you, Tata. Right. Um, and Latifah had us playing this drinking game at the bar. Come on, Latifah, join us at Drink yeah, Chance. Wait, time out. <laughs> I'm going to get into some real, real, real shit. It's your bro. time to get real, Not, real, real. Yeah, real. I was waiting for this one. So, um, I got loaded, bro. Like, loaded as to where the whole room was spinning. I couldn't see nothing. Only alcohol? Only alcohol. What do you want to say? Heroin? I don't know. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, it was nice. Exactly. Was like, what's going on? Nah, I wasn't into that shit. Yeah, I'm throwing out there. You know, we like to see stories. We love the crazy stories. Right, right. I didn't take that ride. I'm gonna be real about that. I didn't take that ride. I'm gonna be real about that. I'm gonna be real about that. But it wasn't that kind of party. Time out, time out. No, it wasn't even that. When I took that ride, I didn't like it. Right. And you saw hats. And that's all I got. Sorry. I'm I've done coke in my life. Where was this at, Mike Geronimo? Let's change no, that story. No, 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 no. Let's change that story. No, let's start with the story. And then no. we're going to go back to the coke story. Right, right. right but no, the, yeah, what's the story? The Queen Latifah. The Queen Latifah. I tried, I tried, I tried coke on point. once in my lifetime. Right. Well, you just you, like, you want to go on a cocaine? Look. You want to go on a cocaine? No, I'm just going to ask. So I tried it once, and I was like, yo, this shit is not for me. I'm paranoid. I'm worried about everything. Were your finger popping? No. <laughs> so wait, wait. I heard you got a Cocaine finger and finger popping yeah, go together? Yeah. Cocaine and finger popping go together. Oh, man. Anyway. Oh, no. Oh, so no. Let's so restart. We're going in the wrong direction I'm all from right. a Queen Latifah so, drinking so, story, so, guys. I said, wait. But you know, no, he didn't bring up that man. I'm not sure. Getting back to the main topic. So, I'm loaded. Can't see a thing. And right. I'm scared to death to walk out the All Star Cafe because there's a line of police and there's barricades and there's people. You by yourself? No, I'm with like Irv and you gotta understand that that everybody roll with everybody. 
And Irv was the main hub. So right. if Rockefeller came out, Murder came out. If Murder came out, Rough Riders came out. So all three of those camps, we all rolled as one. Right. It wasn't no point in time where we wasn't not mixed up together. And again, this is going back to why I love Hove so much. I'm not just saying this shit because of where he is. No, 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 I said that. I said that. I said that. Too much is that. This is, this this is, this is you my name. Yeah. Yeah. And, and when I got older, it dawned on me. Right? That up. So I get really drunk and really high. And I remember being at the entrance of the All Star Cafe. This is like when Sylvester Stallone and I think Arnold Schwarzenegger. The All Star Cafe was a cross street from MTV, correct? Facts. Okay, I'm in. And they owned it. And I you had to walk. Did you say, just drop my name. You make your name? No, you said they owned it. Oh, like they owned the whole cafe. So I had to walk outside. That was the spot where Russell Simmons used to eat all day. Fact. Yeah, yeah. So I had to walk outside and I was like, pet. I was like, damn, I don't want to go out there because there's all these people. But there's something in my mind which is, again, back to the not believing in yourself aspect. Mm. I was like, ain't nobody going to know who I am once I walk out this door. I could walk out. I'm not going to get. I remember I walked out. And I'm stumbling, bro. I can't see left from right. I'm falling all over the place. And some white dude was just like, holy shit, it's Mike Geronimo. And the whole block just cheered and it scared the shit out of me. Mm. Well, you had the college fan love shit. Facts. Yeah. But it scared me. And flashes started going off and I got all confused. And I drank so much from the drinking game with Latifah and them that I was about to like just drop. And my legs dropped. I just started cascading this way, and I felt somebody grab me. And they picked me up, and they threw me on their shoulder. And I heard him tell Irv, he was like, don't worry, I got him. It was Jay. Wow. That's dope. And Jay carried me all the way back to a Range Rover, and here's where I'm going to get highly personal. Mm. And before I say it, if you ever need help, talk to someone. Uh-uh. I remember Jay putting me in a Range Rover, and I remember him saying, you can't do this to yourself. And I remember me saying, why don't you just let me die? Wow. And so to skip through that. Wait, talk about. No, listen, 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 listen. No. I'm gonna finish this. Hold on. Oh my God, God. Because it's, it's a good ending. It's, it's a good ending, but, but it's been taking too long to it, boy. Go ahead, baby, go ahead. I'm sorry I'm long-winded. Yeah, I'll fuck with you. When I'm older now, and I realize that being 47 years old, thank God to bless me to get here. 73, right? Facts. Yeah. He didn't have to grab me. Mm. He didn't have to carry me to that Range Rover. And he damn sure didn't have to ask me, is this what you want? Why would you right. say that? Like he was concerned, right. He was genuinely concerned, but again, the Alice in Wonderland scenario, <laughs> people don't understand when you're in this shit, there's so many pe people pulling you left, right, up, down, vertically, diagonally. You don't know who to believe in. Right. And now that I'm older, I realize that when he said that, he didn't give a fuck about Mike Geronimo. He cared about Michael McDermott. Mm. And he didn't have to care about Michael McDermott. Especially not a man in his position. And that's why I say, I don't give a fuck what happens with these niggas. X, Ja, J, this is my family and my squad, Flush included, for life. These Make people some did some not have to give me Yeah. 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 Yeah.